Dr. Greg, what am I carrying this picnic basket for? Oh, well, you'll find out soon enough, Lily. Lily, do you think I could fix up this old boy? Dr. Greg, you're a chef, not a mechanic. Ah, well, Dr. Greg is a man of many talents. Welcome to Ron Driso Farms. Ah, Lily, I want you to meet a friend to my kitchen, Farmer Cassie. Nice to meet you. Lily, your picnic basket. Farmer Cassie is going to help you fill it with ingredients for a vegetable frittata. Cool. You will see your lunch go from farm to table. Where would you like to start? Well, the first ingredient in my vegetable frittata are vegetables. Let's go check out the vegetable crops. Dr. Greg, aren't you coming with us? No. All right, come on. Here we are. And, oh. I'm going to spend the day fixing up this tractor. That's an antique. It doesn't run. Well, it doesn't run yet. Just leave him. Goodbye. I'll get it running, you'll see. Check out the size of this vegetable garden! This is where we grow our vegetables for our produce boxes and general store. The garlic here was planted last fall and will be ready to harvest later this summer. So as long as the sun and rain keep doing their thing, pretty soon you'll be able to pull the plant up and have a garlic bulb like this. Hey, this bulb is pretty small for such a tall plant. It is small, Lily, but it's mighty in flavor. You're gonna want that in your basket. Here are our broccoli crops. They were just planted a couple weeks ago, so they're still quite small, and you won't be able to see the broccoli heads yet. Well, how much broccoli comes from each plant? Each plant has a central head of broccoli, and once picked, the smaller heads around the side will keep producing for several more weeks. Do you like flowers? I do. If left unpicked, the broccoli florets will mature into beautiful, bright yellow flowers. Except, you get broccoli, instead of flowers. Well, I guess broccoli would taste better in the frittata than a flower would. Well, my recipe also calls for milk and cheese. Do you have any dairy cows here? No, I don't, but my neighbor John does at Lindrian Farms. Shall we go see him? Yeah, let's go. I wonder how Dr. Greg is doing with the tractor. It's not a tractor, Lily. It's an antique. By the end of the day, they'll be calling you Grease Lightning. My neighbor John is milking his lovely dairy cow. Depending on the farm, dairy cows are typically milked twice a day. Or increasingly, with new innovations such as robotic milkers, cows can choose their own milking schedule. Well, how much milk does a cow produce a day, John? On average, 30 to 35 liters a day. That's a lot of milk. Yes, yeah, a lot of milk. Eventually, the milk produced here will become the milk and cheese used in your frittata. You don't say. So, Farmer Cassie, where does chocolate milk come from? Only brown cows can produce chocolate milk. Like this cow, but her milk was white. Just kidding. Chocolate flavoring is added afterwards to plain milk. Oh, I see. Thank you for that very non-magical explanation. You're welcome. <laughs> Cheese. And the milk. You know, buddy, this tractor thing really isn't going the way I thought it would. Ooh, look at this newfangled contraption. This newfangled contraption is a grain mill. You need toast to go with your frittata, but it doesn't just grow on trees. Hey, you don't know that. In fact, I do. Now take this wheat and pour it into the top. Now spin the wheel. What you're doing here is milling wheat. This will produce the flour that you can use to make fresh bread. Look how powdery it is. You've earned this bread for your basket. Well, when
what did you think of the farm? Oh, I loved it. I love seeing where all the ingredients from a frittata come from. I loved it so much, maybe I'll move in with you. <laughs> no, but all the ingredients in your picnic basket look very similar to a balanced plate from the Canada Food Guide. Really? Well, what does a balanced plate look like? There are three parts to a balanced plate. The first part is vegetables and fruit, such as your broccoli and garlic, which provide important nutrients, including vitamins and minerals. The second part are whole grains, which are a good source of fiber. Your bread contains whole grains. The third part are protein foods, which help you grow big and strong. Protein foods are things like cheese and milk, right? Exactly. Your frittata also contains eggs, which have protein and vitamin D. This helps build strong bones and teeth. Well, thank you so much for showing me around today. But you know, I kind of thought we were going to be eating an actual frittata and not just its ingredients. Well, help me put the ingredients back inside the basket. What's gonna happen? Are you magic or something? No, you just didn't see it. It was there the whole time. Oh. That cloud looks like a cloud. Oh, you're back. Well, thank you, Farmer Cassie, for showing us around Ron Rizzo Farms today. You're welcome. And Lily. How was your vegetable frittata? It was great. How was fixing the tractor? Oh, well, it turns out it's an antique. Oh, 